I'm Elizabeth Payne, best known as Libby Payne. I was an Ogontz camper in Lyman, New Hampshire. I came to camp from uh, Trumansburg, New York. I uh, started as a camper in 1964, continued as a camper through 1965, became a counselor in training in 1966, a full-fledged counselor in 67 through 70, and in 1971, at the ripe old age of 19, I was the assistant director of Ogant's camp. Throughout the summer, we had a specific circle that uh, had uh, stadium seating in it, but it was circular. The whole camp would come in. Uh, it was a little cozy, but that was fine because it was in the evening and it was getting chilly. And on Monday nights, usually, was when it was held. We would go in and we would had the two teams, the brown team and the green team. For new campers, the first woodcraft, they would draw their feather. And that's who they are forever and ever. Uh, yeah, everybody would come, and it was uh, sometimes it was more serious than others. Abby Sutherland and then the folks, the gals that came after her, would wear um, buckskin dresses. Uh, there would be camp songs. There would be um, um, a guy who would always sing a slightly risque song, but only the older campers understood what he was saying. We would go through and we would have four fires that we light from a central fire. One is a lamp of beauty, and this involves you know, being clean, taking care of yourself, understanding and respecting your body, uh, and then being a friend of all harmless wildlife. Uh, then there was the lamp of truth, then the great central fire. The third one is fortitude. And then the final is the from the great central fire, I light this, the lamp of love. And I think they, they hold true, even today, as pretty good tenants to live by. Uh, so the, the four people who would light the individual flames uh, would be given a, a banner. Uh, and it was an orange color with a circle and then little feathers on it. And uh, so you would get to wear that at least once in your career as a, as a camper. It's pretty special at our alumni gatherings here at camp every summer. that We still recite the laws of woodcraft and, you know, oh, great chief, by the central fire I like this. Yeah, it still happens. It is, you know, the symbolism of, you know, going back to where you were 50 years ago, some people 60 years ago. And, you know, we assign the four woodcraft maidens and uh, most of the time, the people can do it without the index cards reminding them, you know, what it is. Uh, and I mean, they're they're wonderful basic ideas of how to treat others, become part of a, a community, you know, do something good, you know, to be loyal, to be honest, uh, to uh, help a friend, uh, that sort of thing.